I'm Professor Dinesh here from the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, MIT Mysore. So the lab digital uh, system design lab rotary 18 ECL 38 has got experiments something like uh, implementing combinational circuits and the sequential circuits. So basically in this lab uh, what you will be uh, doing is you will be learning how to implement a combinational circuit or in general any digital circuit using ICs. So here when we look into the experiments what we use basically is ICs, the integrated circuits. The digital ICs is what we will be using. So using these logic gates what you have learned for example AND gate, OR gate, XOR gate and so on you will be using these gates to implement some circuits say for example adders, subtractors and many more applications as such. So uh, we'll just uh, look into the course outcomes of this subject and then we'll move on with the syllabus what are the different experiments you'll be learning and then uh, we'll be learning the experiments starting from De Morgan's theorem. So now at the end of this course uh, you will understand and apply the minimization techniques for simplification of combinational and sequential logic. So meaning to say that uh, after learning this course you will be able to understand the fundamentals of the combinational and sequential circuits and you will be able to apply the minimization techniques say for example KMAP techniques. So you will be able to apply these techniques to minimize a complex system to a simplified form. So this is what one of the outcomes we have in this lab. And the second one, you will be building various combinational and sequential circuits. As I indicated, you will be able to implement adders, you will be able to implement subtractors, you will be able to counters, something like this. So at the end of this course, you will be building various combinational and sequential circuits and another outcome is at the end of the course you will be able to simulate various combinational and sequential circuits. So using uh, EDS available electronic uh, design automata so you will be using the tool electronics workbench so using that tool you will be able to design uh, combinational circuits and sequential circuits as well. So as an example, uh, we will be uh, learning uh, simulation of adder circuit and then simulation of flip-flop, some flip-flop circuits. So these are the outcomes what we have with respect to this lab. Apart from this, you will be learning how to uh, do the, I mean, the capturing the data out of the experiment and how to record those on the books. That is what you will be learning. These are the course outcomes what we have. Now coming to the syllabus, in this lab we have got two different set of experiments, in fact three different set of experiments. Set number one is combinational circuits where you will be learning starting from De Morgan's theorem how to realize the circuit to understand the De Morgan's theorem. And along with that, we will also be learning uh, how to implement a circuit or realize a digital circuit to implement an SOP and POS expression. So this is what experiment number one is. Down the line, we will be learning how to realize the uh, uh, basic gates and other gates, other logic gates using universal gates such as NAND gate and NOR gate. And then we will be learning uh, how to realize adder circuits, off adder, full adder and then subtractor and then how to implement this using uh, dedicated ICs and then using these ICs how to implement different functionalities. And then we'll also be uh, learning some encoders and decoders and how to implement uh, arithmetic circuits using encoders and decoders. We'll also be learning something called as multiplexers and demultiplexers. So these are the combinational circuits what we'll be learning. And then in the next part we have got sequential circuits where we'll be learning how to realize flip-flops. Say for example JK flip-flop, SR flip-flop, D flip-flop and T flip-flop. So how to do this using logic gates and dedicated ICs. 
And then after learning uh, flip-flop operations using ICs, using those ICs, we'll be learning realization of counters. Various uh, counters we'll be learning. For example, up counter, down counter, the counter which does both the operation, up and down counter, something like this. And then we'll be learning something called as shift registers, which are the part of the memory units what we are using in our day-to-day -day life. So these are some of the uh, sequential uh, experiments, sequential logic experiments what we'll be learning. And in the third part, as I indicated, we'll be learning simulation tool. The electronics workbench tool we'll be learning. And using this tool, we'll be implementing adder circuit and flip-flop circuits. So any of the experiments we can do using the simulators, but according to syllabus. So we'll be learning two experiments as I indicated. So this is about the syllabus. Now, next thing what you should know is learning this subject, how it is going to help in your further studies or in your career. So this is one of the very fundamental subjects where the knowledge you will be gaining with this will help you out in learning other subjects as you move on with your graduation. Say for example, these basic building blocks will be using in VLSI subject also in the higher semester. And also there is a, another subject called as VHDL. So where that is a programming language where you will be writing a code for these logic functionalities. So to implement the things, the logic functionalities using code. So you need to understand the basic things, the fundamental things properly. So this course has been introduced in third semester. So here we'll be learning all the digital functionalities or the basic building blocks and then we'll be using those to build the digital circuits. So say for example, you had learned logic gates in your plus two or even in our first year engineering with the basic electronics right so there you have learned understood various uh, logic gate logic gates such as and gate or gate nor gate nand gate inverter and then using these gates how to implement circuit something like uh, half adder full adder and then multiplexer right but here in third semester in this lab you will be learning how to implement this and how to design these things step by step you will be doing right from the problem statement so that is what we'll be doing in this lab what we'll do is we'll consider a problem statement and from that we'll uh, generate the truth table and from the truth table we'll be generating switching equations with the help of minimization technique uh, that technique is KMAP, what we'll be using. So using KMAP, we'll be minimizing the equation or we'll be getting a simplified expression. And then at the end, we'll be implementing that simplified expression using logic gates. And also other ICs, for example, flip-flops or adders. And then we'll verify the functionality. So what we have written in the truth table, those functionalities will be verified. So what do we use here to verify these things, verify these functionalities, we'll be having something called as digital IC trainer kit. So where we can insert the ICs, do the connection, apply the inputs and check the output. Right, so this is what we'll be doing. So realization is all about this. So deriving the switching equations and then converting that into logic circuits and then implementing or uh, doing that using ICs on the trainer kit and verifying the output. So this is what with all the experiments we'll be doing in this lab. Okay, students, so in the next session, I'll just come up with experiment number one. So where we'll be discussing uh, how to implement or how to realize the De Morgan's theorems, what you have learned in uh, basic electronics. And along with that, we'll also be doing something called as realizing uh, SOP expression and POS expression. Right. Thank you very much.